Kind of like share with them your journey like how did you start your drill locks so that they kind of know like how you began this journey um i had a sponge mm -hmm. and i used it for four months only four months and then i just let it do whatever and then, yeah and then we here we are here we are <laughs> so how long you been growing here for a year and four months for a year, for a year and four months yeah okay okay so what does drill lock mean to you what is the point of drill locks like why drill locks dreads are unique like there's different people with different types of dreads and the way they look and all that. Like there's different looks for dreads. And I think that's what makes it very unique and different. Mm -hmm. Like what gave you the reason to say, I want to start my lock journey? Well, I just got tired of like an afro doing it every day and mm -hmm. it got annoying. So I was like, no, I want to change stuff. I want to change it up. I started doing dreads and yeah. Okay. How did you learn the sponge method? I was watching a gun to the great video and you were actually featured in it. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. That's one of, oh yeah, with the sponge? Mm -hmm. Oh. And then that's how I learned how to do it. So you just learned from there and you just like applied it. Did you get like sponge from like a barber shop? Yeah, a barber shop. I got uh, a sponge from a barber shop, yeah. How much did you pay for that sponge? I think like $15. Okay, okay. And then so you went home and you started doing it every single day. When did you start like seeing the really good pro progress on your drill locks? Like a month or two. A month or two? Mm -hmm. I'm and like, oh yeah, this is about to be a good drill. <laughs> <laughs> and from there, did you know that like uh, you want to continue on the journey? Like, were you at a point where you like disappointed or maybe the ugly, quote unquote, what they call the ugly stage? Like, did you go through that? And how did you like kind of like survive through that? Well, I was kind of like, oh, it's, not, it's never going to grow. It's not going to look good enough. And I was like, no, I just keep pushing through it until I see a result, good result. And that's what, exactly what I did. Okay, okay. When did you say that it was like a really good result like how long did it take you till you actually noticed like this is a great journey besides you said that you noticed it in the first month that it started to lock up but when did you say like it was worth to continue going like during the summer of my summer of uh, sophomore year okay and uh how long has it how you been growing then like eight months so the bleach uh made it look like that currently uh some people end up you know when they bleach their hair just leaving it as such and it will end up turning into a like a light brown uh, blondish color. And if you keep using the shampoo, basically it's gonna continue to lighten it out, lighten it out, lighten it out. But for this instance, we don't wanna go lighter than this. Uh, first of all, we don't wanna put the head through another bleach again. Uh, secondly, we don't wanna, we don't want it to be, if he wants to in the future go back to, you know, having a black color or anything, it would be hard for him to go there. So we're going to keep it like that. We want to be able to apply the red on top of that. Uh, as far as I can tell, mostly the bleach part is the outside of the hair, which is good. The inside of the hair, the hair which is the main drill locks, uh, has not been much touched by the bleach. And you can tell by, by looking within, you see the black inside which is really good because you start using the black within then it means that you have bleached it up to the roots or the middle part the center of the dreads which keep the dreads all together within itself and so you don't want to get to a point where you bleach within the dreads because that's when stripping happens that's when your drill lock starts to get skinny that's when you know a lot of things happen to your hair and you start damaging it but whenever it's dark on the inside and blonde on the outside that's actually a good indication uh, that you haven't gotten down all the way to the roots and some people of course they're going for something they platinum blonde and different things so they're going to apply multiple bleach if we apply one more bleach to this it will get to platinum blonde but we want to leave it right here because this is perfect for the health of the hair and also if you want to do another bleach next time or turn change it to a different color next time you know with the drill lock within it will preserve the strength of it so I'm just gonna leave it right there how it is. And we're gonna apply the red now and turn the whole entire dreadlocks into red.
I'm gonna give you a 360. Um, last time you can see the redness. That was kind of like leftover from some of the dreadlocks. You can see right here it used to be red. You can see right up here it used to be red right there. And it was just the side of the hair. So the other side was not bleached and that's why this like new to bleach on this side versus this one is just a little bit lighter and you'd be able to see the red but the red that i'm going to apply will match everything out but he will have basically a nice color all the way throughout the hair and after that if we have time we're going to give him two strand twist or even a haircut uh, and a retwist basically so that um you know his hair can look fresh so we have this coloring uh that we used from last time it's called good dye young semi-permanent hair color meaning that in the future somebody wants to change it it's a semi dye so semi-permanent i don't think they have any permanent colors they all are semis meaning that it will fade out through time as you wash it swim or different things and so we're going to be applying that to this hair because Trippy Red has all red too. All red too, okay, okay. So inspired by Trippy Red, all red. <laughs> Trippy Red, all red. That's why he <laughs> has red dreadlocks. Trippy Red, I, I finally get it. I always wonder why he has red hair. say about your dreadlocks usually they would say it looked like worms uh -huh. or it would be like awesome like they would call my dread small uh -huh. which is a worm that's pretty much it why do they why do they call it that small like or warm or i don't even i don't even know i don't even know you don't even know <laughs> <laughs> so like are you uh have you have that discouraged you or like have that encouraged you to continue going or have you thought about maybe doing other things like making it thicker or different things? Or what? What is? Your, what was your thought process when people were like trying to clown on your hair? Well, I didn't. I didn't really care. I just like I was like, okay, like that's your opinion. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm just gonna keep going and see the results and see what happens. Wow, that's amazing, bro. And did you um like what kind of dreadlocks did they have? People that were like trying to clown your hair. The for? people didn't even have dreadlocks. I didn't even have they dreadlocks. Had, they had afros. No, they had afros. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, they're just jealous it. sometimes, you know? Some people get jealous of other people here, so the easy way to do is clown. For example, me, when I do videos and different things, since I like, you know, dyeing my hair and doing different things, people wanna come at me and say, oh man, your hair gonna fall out, or this is gonna happen to your hair. And I know those people are the ones that are jealous mm -hmm. because the people that care for my hair, they be like, oh, be careful, uh, you know, this might happen to your dreadlocks, you know, bleach is not bad. They try to educate me in different things. But there's, there's some people that comment and say, oh, bro, like this dude's dreadlock about to fall off. Like his, his dreadlock is done and different things. And my dreadlock continues to grow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, they think that sometimes when they see where, you know, I had it cut because I lost a dare, they think that that's the result of bleaching my hair, which is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So people have different perspectives and some people would hate on you by saying different things. That's how you know a hater versus somebody is actually wanting the best for you. And uh, as my brother right here just said, that people that notice his dreadlocks, they start calling it a warm and stuff, different things like that. But now when they see this video, they're probably going to be like, oh shoot, this dude dreadlocks is dope as heck. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any things that you guys want to comment of the things that you went through, maybe pros, maybe cons, 
people with uh, they have called you names that they may have said about your locks we want to hear your story we want to feature you guys on this channel so comment down below so we can kind of see what we want to interview for the future also because i'm starting to do a zoom interviews also with people that are in a different location in arizona but if you're in arizona of course well, we want to feature you on this channel if you have a journey and a story uh this is pineapple world where your journey matters i'm active with your host make sure you guys check us out on pineapple fam on facebook page where you can share your journey at any time that you want and also if you follow our instagram you will be selected to be featured on our story so yeah thank you guys for this opportunity and we appreciate everybody that is building this community peace out